Okay, I'm actually trying the headset on. Hopefully, my voice is a little, it catches more. Um, and excuse the red eyes, I'm just tired. It's like one close to 1.30 right now, and I'm just beat. But I wanted to make a video um, before I forget or become, before it becomes like kind of like I'm like not relevant. Um, one of the reasons I am up is actually because Josh actually wants wanted to hang out and watch movies and I'm just like oh, I'm just not used to that I'm not sure some of that like I am going to be used to but honestly that's gonna be a video for another day what I want to talk about today is a meeting I had with a representative from skills who I'm gonna call Al and Al and me have been working on the idea of, okay what can you do that you want to do and that you can do and that kind of focuses on all your strengths strengths and um, one and the main thing that we came up with is being a certified peer specialist which is something like a social worker but with for people who happen to have mental health uh, issues and honestly I think today was the day oh, well we, we've been talking about it for a couple of weeks now and people in the past have always dropped like little hints saying, that, okay, yeah, you should definitely try to be a CPS and try to help people in your situation. Since I have, to most other people's um, opinion, not necessarily recovered, or but more of the idea that I'm handling my mental health in a positive light towards a better future. So today, me and Al did a couple of uh, mock runs and. The first one was a girl that was having difficulty with her boyfriend leaving, and she said, "I killed it in 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 in, in, in a positive sense." Uh, I was able to talk to her, um, be, uh, give her appropriate answers and appropriate um, solutions to her problems, and from the way that Al made it sound, I did really, really well. As a matter of fact, the second mock trial we did was somebody who suffered from schizophrenia and they were just on like a bad day kind of thing. I believe that was the second example. And the person, uh, and she was portraying somebody who was just having a, not a bad day, but a blah day. And, you know, her, she was portraying somebody who had, he just didn't want to make facial contact, look, you know, face the person. She had her back turned. Um, one more rep replies and you know I was just like okay well I played to my strengths I'm not gonna go through the details of how I really did that because I don't think maybe I should alright so like I knew that I couldn't do it all too well so I like for the previous example with the girl who broke up with her boyfriend or the boyfriend left because of her um, mental health situation um, I was like okay well where who would be best to talk to this person and it ended up kind of being like James kind of going okay well I can do this I can do this and not be inappropriate so James came out and I was able to kind of still be there and he did very very well the whole concept of like okay I can relate to what it's like to be dumped and I can relate what it's like to still find a way to be strong even after uh, having somebody leave you and the second example where the girl was just very like offset and very like you know I really don't want to do anything I'm just kind of blah one more replies Michael kind of stepped in with that one and was very much um, okay well sure cool be blah uh, let's try to be blah together and we'll find something blah to do and if you still feel blah at the end of the day at least you weren't blah by yourself but if you find something to do and you feel maybe even one step above blah I consider that a win and I'm like wow that's really kind of great we were able to find a way to kind of assess ourselves the best way we knew how to with a given situation and it's just one of those we can do this and it just made me very, feel very hopeful for us considering that Chuck has said in the past like oh you know you can't have a regular job not because you physically cannot do it but those kind of things just you know people wouldn't understand and it would just frustrate you more even um, Miss Hildebrand from the uh, Office of Vocational Rehabilitation was like okay well we need something a little bit more on your level and with you guys when you work together something mundane would just bore you and then 
it would just not work out. So we need something that challenges a lot more of your strengths rather than your weaknesses. And I honestly believe that being a CP, well, yeah, CPS was, could be great for us. It could work out and we could be able to find a way to live a semi-independent life. Not normal, because we're not normal. <laughs> if we were a superhero, our name would probably be Legion, and it'd be chaotic and crazy. Um, Michael has obviously shown us that path. <laughs> but if we could find a way to help others. I can't be a cop anymore. That's just something that's like, there's too much bad stuff we've done. Not just me, and not just, you know, pick a random name from the pod of us. <laughs> But it's just way too deep for us to be able to do anything like that. I'll be lucky if I can even get a security job anymore. But maybe if I find a way to help people. That might be a little bit more... Fulfilling. And I think all of us have strengths and weaknesses that will be capitalized and challenged. Hopefully in the best possible way. If we are CPSs. We might be able to still change the world. Even if it is one person at a time. <sighs> Alright, now I'm definitely tired. You can tell by my eyes are getting even more redder. It's just like, ah, it's just... <sighs> but, that's what I gotta say for tonight. Thank you guys. Whoever happens to be watching. Thank you for listening. I'm finally going to bed. Good night.